In a previous video, I showed how you can make targeted color adjustments by using a color mask. In this video, I'll show you another way you can manipulate colors in your image by using the color saturation tool. Here I have a version of the nonlinear SHO color image from my Malat 15 imaging project. The colors in this particular version of the image are pretty muted and I'd like to work on them. So I'm going to run the color saturation tool, reset it. And what we have here in this tool along the horizontal axis is every U in the color spectrum. The other axis represents saturation and we have one bar going across the image right now which basically represents uh, the saturation response function. Um, this tool also supports having a live preview so we're going to engage that. So now we can see what's going on when we make changes in our image. The first thing I'm going to try to do is be able to change the saturation of all colors all at the same time. I say try because what you have to do is grab hold of the handle on this little line and sometimes that's a little tricky to do. But there I've done it. I can increase the saturation. I can decrease the saturation of everything. Uh, so that gives me a very broad brush to paint with. But the other thing I can do is I can target certain areas and stretch the curve and manipulate the curve. And so for, for example, in this area here around the oranges, I've enhanced that, or down in here in the blues, I'm suppressing that. The curve is a cubic spline by default, uh, but I like to use linear interpolation because that gives me more precision. And to do that, I can choose one of these boxes down here. These are two different forms of splines, and this is the linear interpolation right here. With linear interpolation, I can do be very precise in what I do. Uh, by putting different handles in and then stretching those uh, handles into the, the amount of saturation I want in that area. And I can tailor this pretty carefully. Another handy thing is I can look at the image and I can decide what features I want to manipulate. For example, I'd like to bring out a little bit more of the orange color in uh, these highlights. So if I click on the highlights, the graph will show me what you I'm really dealing with. So in this particular case, in order to get those, I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to bring this up and you can see I'm starting to bring the colors up in that particular case. I'd also like to bring up some of the blues that are in here. And that, that shows me that this is the region I want to work with there. So I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to bring this down. And then as I... Oh, let's bring that over like that. So now I've chosen two areas of the image where I wanted to boost the color. And you can see the difference here as I disengage the live preview go back and forth you can see that I have been able to shape that pretty well now I've got some uh, you may not see it in the video there's some faint uh, magenta stars in here so maybe over here what I can do is bring the magenta down just a bit see if I can clean that up a little bit see yeah that's a little bit better um, if you wanted to make very large changes and you're running out of room here you have a range uh, feature and right now this is at a scale of two. So this is larger than the normal range, but I could have gone to a scale of three or four and that allows me to make even bigger changes. When I think I have the color the way I want it, and I'll say I do now, I can get rid of the preview. I can drag this over to the image. And now we've changed the color quite a bit. I probably went too far in this image, but for the purposes of demonstration, I think that works out fine. Now, if you wanted to, you could even save this particular curve and then bring it back into the tool later, and you could apply this on uh, another image um, if you wanted to have a similar treatment. So here's how we, a very simple tool that you can use to shape very selectively the saturation on any U in your image.